Jesus said in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, Go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In order to share the gospel, you need to know God and His Word. And I'm not just talking about knowing about God, I'm talking about having a personal relationship with God. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. As I share a clip with you from a previous video of mine entitled, Five Steps to Share the Gospel. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you're new, so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now for the clip. Know God and His Word. You can't share God and His love with others if you don't know God. And I'm not talking about knowing about God, I'm talking about having a close relationship with God. Many people, including some Christians, have a distorted perception of God. They think God is a dictator, someone to be feared and eager to punish the disobedient by torturing them in hell forever. That is not the God of the Bible, but the devil's versions of God, patterned on his own evil character. Thousands of people have rejected this God and walked away from Christianity, totally deceived by the devil's lies. But God does not take delight in our pain. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11 says, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked will turn from his way and live. And 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 says, God is love. That means that he is totally focused on others and more concerned for the salvation of every human being than he is for his own life. In addition, God wants every person to be saved. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 3 through 4 says, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. This is the God of the Bible. But if you've been led to adopt a distorted view of God's character, you can't share the gospel effectively because it's going to come out wrong. And to know God and His Word, you have to spend time with God through prayer and the study of the Bible. That was a clip from my YouTube video entitled, Five Steps to Share the Gospel. If you were inspired by that clip and you'd like to learn more, click on the screen to watch the entire video from the beginning. Thank you for watching and God bless you.